प्रियतम प्रभु अमार तुम्हारे धरे दीवानी आखि झरे तुम्हें जे गिया झरे खन सुदूरे मरे रेखे शरिदा तीर ओ माइ मोस्ट बी लव एड लोअर्ड फर यू दे आर नाइट माइ थीयर्स आर फ्लोइंग You went away, far away, leaving me on the bank of the river. More pretty, more pretty, Jani, shudu tu mari. More gidi thabo tripti dori. Amar shakol man jodu kichu abhiman, tu mari gire gire. My love knows you only. My song is for you to please. All my pride and whatever vanity revolves around you. Puchi ba chilo na mor kono shado na chilo na bhun na bhor shubo bhavana thai kia mai fele shuduri gile chole gile ar eli na fire. I understood that I had no force of sadhana, of meditation, or even good deeds or auspicious ideas. That is why you ignored me and went away, and never returned. In the meditation practice, we are chasing the supreme consciousness, and uh, we are developing this intense love to become one with the supreme. The supreme consciousness is infinitely blissful and infinitely peaceful, and when you get a taste of that bliss, you always want to go there again. The spiritual aspirant in this song is feeling that intense longing. He wants to be one. He wants to be again. One with that supreme consciousness. In the second stanza, it's describing all my love, all my songs are revolving around you. All my ego, all my pride, everything is revolving around you. So all everything, all his mind, all his everything. Is just dressing towards that supreme consciousness, and in the last stanza, I say, maybe my meditation was not good enough. Maybe I was not sincere. Maybe I had no auspicious ideas. In any case, you left me, never to return. So, uh, it is this feeling of. Is the Lord? Is that supreme consciousness never t- returning? Why is it not in my mind? Why am I not able to completely feel that or be one with that supreme consciousness? So, <laughs> it is like a love relationship. Sometimes you feel the happiness of being one with the loved one, and one times, and sometimes you feel the pain of the loss. That you are not able to be one with that loved one, but the love is there, and the pull is there. That extreme longing to be again, one again, one. So uh, apparently, those feelings they may f- seem to be very tragic, but it's actually very sweet because the devotee, everything. Everything he's thinking, everything is revolving around that supreme consciousness. So it's a beautiful song, and uh, it it's describing a pure spiritual longing to be one with the supreme consciousness. And uh, the nature of the universe is such that. The universe is sometimes called lila. It is the divine game of that supreme consciousness, and the 
the devotee or the spiritual aspirant is chasing the Supreme Consciousness and the Supreme Consciousness is sometimes hiding and sometimes giving a little bit bliss to inspire and then the devotee is happy and is moving again and sometimes he doesn't feel bliss for some time he feels, oh, where did that Supreme Consciousness go? And so it is a game of hide and seek so this game of hide and seek in our meditation is called Anudhyam. So uh, in the Astanga Yoga, Dhyana is the number seven, and sam- Samadhi is the last one. So Anudhyam, it me- it's part of the Dhyan process. It's where you are chasing the Supreme. You are trying to be one with that Supreme Consciousness. And uh, there is concentration there. There's a feeling of incompleteness because you want to be one again. So these type of feelings are are uh, very sweet. And uh, when we are doing the meditation, when we sing these type of songs, we express these type of deep feelings, it enriches our spiritual life. And we feel that bliss and that longing to be again one with that Supreme Consciousness. Namaskar.